<laughs> What's up, y'all? We got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. So, y'all, I want to talk about this because y'all know normally I don't talk about this shit, but you know a lot of things is about to change that I don't normally do. Okay? Um, over the weekend, this lady was at a restaurant. Oh, excuse me. She was just at a, I guess, drive-up burger spot. And um, she was in there trying to get her food. And I guess she got into it with this guy. What she was getting into it with him about, I don't know. But they was getting into it. And he decides to punch her several times in the face. So she decides to let her son know. Or her son just came in. I'm not sure. But her son, uh, you know. Got him up out of here. Now, I'm not really going to be, um, this ain't really nothing to be sensitive about because bruh asked for this. Um, I don't know why men think that they can put their hands on women and it's not a consequence for that. Like y'all was telling me the other day because um, I was talking about uh, a stud running in Corey's, wherever he was, house, you know, because his her girlfriend was there, allegedly. And y'all were saying that women can't fight men and duh, you know what I'm saying? Like it ain't that women can't fight men, but men are stronger in some cases. Some women out here will bust your ass though. Y'all got to stop not giving women credit. It ain't even all about the power. It's the technique in everything you do. But let me just be very clear when it comes to men putting their hands on women. I tell you all the time, I don't play that shit. And I feel like I'm a, I'm a, uh, a target every day just because of how I dress niggas is bothered by me and I ain't bothering nobody you know so automatically every day I'm focused on not focused on but I'm very alert with my surroundings and who think that they gonna fuck with me and who think that they not so with that being said so is she she live in Chicago these niggas is wild and the way he was punching her is even wilder but recently uh, she was actually, her and her son was actually in jail, I believe. Uh, I know she was. And she had like a $3 million bond. But recently they dropped the charges. So I want to watch this um, with Carlos because he talk about all this stuff. I'm going to watch this real fast and then I'm going to say my little piece about it. Hey, get your food. Get the Who? Get the cop? Who? Hey, 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 hey. He was so mad. Like, and he hit her really hard, bro. More breaking right, news, right, the right, Cook right, County right, State's right, Attorney's right. dropping charges against Carlicia Hood and her 14-year-old son. You remember Hood was accused of encouraging her son to shoot a man, but video that recently surfaced shows Jeremy Brown yelling and attacking Hood inside a Southside restaurant. Before the shooting, activists had argued that the actions were self-defense. All right, what's up with the YouTube family? I'm back again with another video. So listen, man, long story short, it's great news for the family that, uh, you know, Miss Carlicia Hood and her son are being released. Everything that was against them in the beginning has been dropped. So they get to come home scot-free with no nothing. You know what I'm saying? No prejudice. That's how they put it. But, uh, yeah, man, it was a lot of y'all that I was kind of shocked that y'all was kind of saying that certain things should have happened to the dude, to which I can't fault y'all for having y'all own opinion and things like that. But it's just crazy that, you know, you can find some type of justification to allow somebody to hit a woman and get away. With Hello. And not allow somebody, allow a man. <laughs> a man. Like, I, I want y'all to know something. I treat men like weapons, okay? I treat men like weapons. I would never be able to live in a non-open carry state because of men. You get what I'm saying? So if I'm in a state where I can't have a gun, well, let's just be clear. I won't be in that state. You know, um, niggas not out here toting, and I need to stop saying guns, but niggas not out here toting uh, protection for just for a person to, you know, God forbid, breaking their home or, um, you know, a traffic stop, anything, especially a woman like me. You know what I'm saying? When you are a lesbian in this world is the most 
I not the most dangerous thing to be. Is the most dangerous thing I feel like is a for a gay man. But for us, I feel like we running up. Okay, we're the next runner up. So for me to walk around here on a daily basis is almost a threat to society, right? Because men just feel some type of way. I've dealt, I've had several occasions where men have felt some type of way and they want to prove a point that we're not men. And they also want to prove a point that um, they can beat us per se, because they're already threatened at the fact of what we have going on. Like I've had men tell me that we're cheating because we got the sauce and uh, we know how to dress and, you know, um, we know how to get women because we are women and, you know, odds are just already against us. Meanwhile, I'm just trying to get some gas or I'm just trying to live. You know what I'm saying? It's a problem for them. So instead of me getting emotional about that, I've accepted that in my life. All right, bet. So with that being said, I would not fight one man. Not one. Okay. Um, now, I also ain't a, I'm not a provoking woman either. But I don't have to provoke them because they're... Me dressing like this is already provoking them. You know what I'm saying? But with that being said, to think that that woman is wrong for her son doing that is crazy because that nigga was a threat to society for women. <laughs> like, what? He was an absolute threat to society for women. If he did that to her and she's older, he'll do that to anybody. So I feel like she had every right, every right to do that. With it when their son is watching. And some of the things that I seen yesterday in the video that I didn't see in the beginning was that the mother did tell the son to go back to the car. So something didn't add up with a text message being sent and things like that. But the news stated that and multiple sources stated that as well. So, you know, but basically, long story short, they did come home, you know, and like I said before, and I'm going to continue saying. Like y'all expect for her to go home with black eyes and shit? Like, or, or a messed up face or whatever. Like, hell no. And I was rocking with them from the beginning. Because, I mean, if you hit my mama or anybody that's associated with me personally, and I'm there, I promise you, I will be ready to do the same thing and take whatever come with it. You know what I'm Facts. saying? Facts. And another Facts. thing that, um, you know, people are saying is that, um, you know, when it comes to a situation like that, you got to call the police and stuff. But you got to look at it like this, man. When you're in a scarcity mindset, Fuck you don't God. even be who, thinking logically. Who got to wait to call the police? Your mind miles per hour. And then you see a stranger home somewhere that you really, really love. A stranger. You're not going to be thinking clearly. And the mother, you know, if she did instruct her son to do that, like I said, I didn't really agree with it. But I could understand it because she she probably was scared for her life as well. And, um, he could have killed her. Did, I mean, did anybody think about that? You know, she when it comes to it, man, we're a family, we're a family. She do whatever you gotta do. Or, she probably wasn't even thinking clearly. So don't sit there and just keep continue calling her a bad parent, especially when you ain't went through a situation like this. I can understand your frustrations, your thoughts and opinions about it and stuff like that, but at the same time, you know, you just gotta sympathize with people sometimes in certain situations, you know. Especially when some, women. Like, come and subscribe if you're rocking with me. If you don't, I really don't give a damn. But I will holler at y'all later, though. <laughs> and more breaking news. The Cook County State's attorneys dropping charges against Carlicia Hood and her 14-year-old son. You remember Hood was accused of encouraging her son to shoot a man. But video that recently surfaced shows Jeremy Brown yelling and attacking Hood inside a Southside restaurant. Before the shooting, activists had argued that the actions were self-defense. Yeah, um, uh, I don't think she's wrong at all. First of all, she wasn't the one who had the gun her son did. I'm sure she taught her son how to shoot a gun because they in Chicago. Um, and also, I don't know if this recently happened either because it seems as though this already happened, but they've been dealing with it. Not sure, but um, my opinion still stands. He didn't have the right to do that, period. And, and her running her mouth that still didn't give him the right to do that. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so it sounded like he wanted to take his frustration out on somebody and he did it on her and he lost his life. You know what I'm saying? And that's the type of shit that's happening out here in this world. So choose your battles wisely. And, and especially with the people around you, have them choose their battles wisely. Cause this shit ain't, this shit ain't no joke out here, but y'all let me know what you think down in the comment section below. We done with this video. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah.